Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining for another cleaning motivational. If you're new here, my name is Tasha and I put a cleaning video out once a week. In this video, I decided to include what it looks like to tidy up my house, not deep clean and not go extremely extravagant in each room. Just a simple tidying up and keeping up with my regular household needs throughout my whole house on a typical weekday or on the beginning of a week and morning. So we're gonna go ahead and start by tackling our living room, our playroom, my kitchen, we do my bedroom, switch out sheets and so much laundry and just tidying up the spaces so that my house looks put together and clean without having to actually deep clean, just the tidying up my home. I feel like sometimes we get ourselves overwhelmed with cleaning because we're always trying to get the cleanest outcome possible with so much dusting and deep cleaning and focusing on every little minor detail that sometimes we just forget that tidying up is okay and getting your vacuuming done, your laundry, making your beds, um, and getting family time in is also important. So come along with me for this video of a quick tidy up of my house. I'll take you guys through a majority of my rooms as well as lots of laundry. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Remember to hit that notification so you don't miss any future uploads. We're gonna go ahead and jump in and the first thing we're gonna do is start our first load of laundry. My heart is a with my thoughts oh and i don't know which side is better i try to connect all the dots oh to let you in behind my shelter you could fit into my life when it's daylight and this night i would give away my soul but is it worth it i don't know i don't i don't know I recorded this video through a two day span and I'll explain that more later on. But the first day was a typical weekday for me. I believe it was a Friday and I just went ahead and decided to get my living room cleaned up and work on my downstairs like I do every single day. It's a lot of work sometimes to keep up with all the toys that never stay in the play area and don't get put away by my daughter. So we're gonna take the time to just get this living room picked up and have it looking nice so that we can move on to other rooms and she can still play in her playroom, but having it tidied up and not look so chaotic and messy. Also try not to pay any attention to the stat gaming banner that's behind my couch. I typically take this down if we have guests coming over and someone's gonna be in my home. And I used to take it down every time I filmed, but now I just kind of keep it up. My husband does live streaming for his Call of Duty, and I recently bought him this flag to go behind him so he has a backdrop when he's gaming. And at first I was like, it's an eyesore, I don't like it. I'll take it down every time he gets done uh, recording his live streams. But now I just kind of keep it up because it has to go up every morning, so it just stays up. I know it doesn't look like the best living room decor, but we are just in base housing. I'm not in my forever home and little things like this don't really bother me. Now, if I have a guest coming over, say we're having a dinner party or we're doing game nights or having play dates, I do take it down just because to me it is a little bit of um, a very bachelor-esque kind of thing to have up in my living room. It's worse of it going inside of me. I don't wanna lead you astray.
like paper blade
We do this every day. We do this love for life. All right, y'all. So real life update. Um, I was filming this morning. I got the living room cleaned up and I started a load of laundry. I still gotta switch that load over because I haven't gotten that far yet. But Tennyson really wasn't in the mood to like want to cooperate, like either sit and watch something or play in her playroom or really help with cleaning. So I just stopped cleaning for the day and we played together. We watched a movie, stuff like that. We did lunch with um, my husband when he came home for lunch. And then uh, my husband just got home from work. So he took Tennyson to the park to try and maybe tire her out because she didn't do a nap today. She hasn't been napping like ever anymore. So he's gonna take her to the park, see if we can get some energy out of her and uh, just get her out of the house for a little while um, while I get some cleaning done. So I was gonna go ahead and give you guys an overview of what my living room looked like, just to kind of show you like a real life update. Like, yes, I clean living room today. Am I gonna clean it again today? No, but it's messy. But I figured, so I'm showing you guys like my typical tidying up kind of day. I go ahead and give you guys a sh like a overview of what the end of the day when my husband gets home, about 4.30. So um, what it looks like, even though I cleaned today, he came home to this. So the purpose of showing you guys that is even if you're cleaning all day and tidying all day, like there's days when I am not going to be deep cleaning. You're not going to see me dusting. You're not going to be seeing me completely organized in Edison's toy room. Nothing like that. It's just a quick clean up, get my house tidied because by the end of the day, I have to do it again or I just choose not to and I do it in the morning. Like it's just an everyday cycle and I know we all go through it. So real life messes happen on this channel and real life in general happens on this channel. So I will tell you guys for all the nitty gritty, the deep cleaning, the easy tidy ups in my regular schedule, in my regular real life, because I feel like it needs to be shown that not all of us have magazine um, perfect homes. Like I just don't, my house is lived in and we live in it all day. So just keep that in mind when you're watching cleaning videos that just because your house doesn't look like that doesn't mean your house isn't clean because tidying up is a necessity every single day. And if you don't have the motivation, I usually typically just say, just start. Cause once you get started, it's just the motivation kind of just comes and set timers for yourself if you need to. And don't put expectations of yourself way up here. Keep them where they are accomplishable. If you know you can tidy up your living room and your playroom or whatever, or run a load of dishes or run a load of laundry, do that. If you feel like today I'm going to clean out the fridge and do all these deep cleaning things and you don't get to it, don't beat yourself up. Is your house clean? Is your family happy? Is everyone healthy? Yes. Cool. You're doing a good job. So let's go ahead and finish cleaning up my house. I'm going to start in the kitchen. I'm not going to clean the living room again. I'm going to switch the laundry over, clean up my kitchen, get my dining room cleaned up. And then hopefully by that time, my husband will be coming home with tennis and we can do dinner. So let's get all this started and hopefully we can get it done within like the hour that they are at the park. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found There was this like funky smell. I even smelled my armpit. I smelled the panels on the stove. I smelled the sink, the trash. I could not figure out where it was coming from. So I blew my nose like maybe it's just something in my nose. When I blew my nose, I could smell it more prominently. It was almost like a... I don't know what to call it. It was cooking. I could tell once I blew my nose, it was like, it's cooking. Someone's cooking something. And I realized I could smell my neighbor's cooking. It was very like a heavy tomatoey based smell. And to me, it just smelled a little funky, but I was like, trying to figure out for the longest time where it was coming from. And I really started to think that it was me and it wasn't, it was my neighbor's cooking, but that's why I was sniffing all the random things around my kitchen, including myself. 
can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle in a diamond And the southern sunset curious as to what other people's routines look like in their house, what they clean every single day, and what their like regular cleaning routine looks like. For me, you guys pretty much see my everyday cleaning in every single video. This video is exactly how I clean my house every single day. Typically in the morning while Tennyson's having breakfast, I will do this exact video what you're seeing now of my kitchen. I clean my kitchen, do my dishes, get all my counters wiped down, the stove, everything, and then when she's done with breakfast, I get the table wiped off, get my table settings set back up, we vacuum the floors in here, and then we move on to cleaning the living room, which you guys already saw. That cleaning of the living room is exactly what I do every single day. It is not perfection. I am not dusting. I'm not going insane into anything. I'm just picking up and tidying my house and getting things to look straightened back up and like we're not living in mayhem. So I'm curious what you guys, what your guys' like cleaning routine looks like because mine looks like this every day. In this video, I did include a couple things that I don't do every day, like laundry. I am not the person that does laundry in this house. My husband typically does it. But since I had free time, I decided to try and handle as much laundry as I could, as well as stripping our bed, which is something he usually does. So I stripped our bed, which happens once a week. Typically he does it, so I went ahead and included that. And I also included the vacuuming of my upstairs, and the actual stairs themselves. The stairs themselves don't get vacuumed on an everyday basis in my home, but they do get a vacuum every week to almost sometimes every month. It's a project that I dread doing all the time, but once I've done it, I actually enjoy the way it looks and how much better and cleaner the house feels just from having the stairs cleaned. Now on an everyday basis, I don't deep clean my sink. I will clean it out and I'll use an all-purpose cleaner as well to spray it down, but I don't go all deep in to deep cleaning my sink. So let me know what your guys' regular cleaning looks like because this video is very much my everyday routine and I wanted to show you guys what my whole house everyday routine looked like. From cleaning up, 
the downstairs all the way to tidying the bedrooms, putting away laundry, and vacuuming my whole house. Moving on to day two, I'm going to go ahead and remove the laundry that I started yesterday from the dryer. I had an unexpected load that had to go into the wash lot, like late, late last night. So I just went ahead and switched that over and I'm going to start the first load of adult laundry. That's what we call it in our house, adult laundry into the wash. And then I'm going to be doing um, a load of Tennyson's. Actually, I think I do Tennyson's first. A load of Tennyson's laundry, and then we do another load of ours as well as my bedding. So trying to get as much laundry done as we possibly can. And by the end of this video, not all the laundry got done. I will explain that again later. But we got so much laundry done, and I am so thankful every single time I'm the one doing laundry that I'm not the one that has to always do laundry. My husband is so great at keeping up with laundry. I am the worst. I will sometimes have to rewash a whole load because I forget about it. Things like that. I am the worst, worst, worst at laundry. So every time I'm stuck doing laundry or I volunteer to do it, my husband's always like, you sure? You sure you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, I'll handle it. It's fine. Not a big deal. And then I end up regretting being like, yes, I'll take care of laundry because I'm the worst at it. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and start by stripping my bed and then getting all the laundry that is done, put away that is mine, and then get my husband's put into the room that he keeps his clothes in so that he can put his away. And then we'll move on to like the upstairs vacuum, getting Tenny's room picked up, and then vacuuming the stairs. And then we'll end this video with some more laundry. I got this like maroon with a white stripe pants suit, like jogger suit from Sheen, and I washed it with all of my clothes and the maroon bled, and I had to do some color safe bleach on all my clothes to get all the pink out from all the white stuff, and I got it out of everything. But this red or this maroon like suit where the white stripe is, it's still pink. Does anyone know how I can change that white stripe back to white? Because I don't think I'll wear it with it being pink and maroon because I just think it's just not cute that way. But is there anything I can do to try and salvage that sweatsuit just so that I can get that white back and that stripe and possibly be able to wear it?
On the first vacuum of my bedroom and the stair area or the hallway, I got a full jam-packed fur-filled and hair-filled canister for my vacuum. So I went ahead and dumped that and then I went and ran another vacuum over uh, my bedroom and the hallway and I only got a little less than half up. So I did a really good vacuum of those two. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Tennyson's room. Just pick up the books from reading the night before, get her bed made and get it vacuumed. And then we can move on to vacuuming the stairs, which again was a jam-packed um, canister full of fur because again I don't do it often enough my husband's get, been getting better at doing it for me um, when he has time because we took the baby gate off the stairs and it's a lot easier to get up and down there and get the stairs vacuumed whenever we have free time to do so so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up in here we'll do the stairs and then I'm gonna round out this video with some laundry and it's just me starting a load of laundry so this evening um, on this day I went ahead and Finished up my cleaning pretty early, started editing, and I took a break from editing. We did bath time and all that jazz, dinner and everything, and then we decided it'd be fun to play um, hide and seek in the dark. We do this often with Tennyson. She absolutely loves it. So on this evening, we decided to cut our chores short and go ahead and do some late night hide and seek in the dark with Ten. So I forgot about the sheets in the wash. So we, me and Trevor were up late after Tennyson went to bed waiting for our sheets to finish drying, um, and we ended up making the bed real late and going to bed pretty late, so I never finished all the laundry, but the only thing left that was in the laundry was our last load of adult laundry, which my husband then folded that Sunday. So everything got done. I just didn't show it all on camera, but the last things you're going to see definitely are the finishing up of Tennyson's bedroom, giving a good vacuum to the stairs, and then the starting of the rest of our laundry. y'all right, so we've come to the end of this video i hope that this simple tidy up video got you guys motivated and was helpful and showing that not everything has to be done all in one day and all in one time and not everyone's home is picture perfect and my home is definitely not but i still hope that you guys get motivated motivated by the cleaning that i do do i was really excited this evening to play hide and seek with my daughter and my husband so i was really glad that i got my chores done Sad I forgot about laundry once again because I knew I was going to do it even though I promised I wouldn't. I still forgot about the laundry. I didn't stress about it. It got done and the next day my husband also helped me to finish it. I really hope you guys got motivated by this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.